Welcome to my circadian app. My name is Sarah. And today I'm going to teach you about how to use the vitamin D timer within the my circadian app so that you can avoid the risk of overexposing your skin and understand when vitamin D is available as well as maximize your body's ability to absorb vitamin D this summer and store it for the winter. So before we start the video, I just want to qualify it by saying this is not medical advice. And I do not ever want anyone to override their own intuition when it comes to sun exposure. So even if the app, my app or anyone else's app says you still have remaining time available before it's time to seek shade or get out of the sun, but your body is telling you this is too much. My skin feels really warm please listen to that and don't override it because of what an app tells you. I have on the same token found that the app is extremely accurate at helping people to understand their body's own signals and when it's time to get out of the sun. So just to qualify that, always listen to your own intuition and don't override that because of what an app says. So how do we use this vitamin D timer within the app? Well, number one, I want to say that it is very important in my personal opinion, as someone who works with people in this field of circadian biology and quantum biology to expose your eyes and your skin to morning sunlight. That means sunrise where there is a rich abundance of red and infrared light, and then to catch UVA, just a bit of that again, because we are sending the signal to our brain. The eyes are telling the brain, Hey, the sun's getting stronger, make these neurochemicals, make these neuropeptides, neurohormones to prepare your skin to get that stronger light in the middle of the day. So that's very important to start your day. And then after sunset, it's equally important that you wear blue blockers and you protect yourself from artificial light at night. You keep your lux below 10, the three hours leading up to bed. There's a lux meter in the app where you can measure that. And you keep your lux below a one in your actual sleeping environment. Because if you are going to go out in the strong UV, you want your body to be able to repair itself at night and make a lot of melatonin. So these things are important when it comes to maximizing your time in strong UV light and having the best experience possible. When you go into the app and you will need the full version of the app to access the vitamin D timer, if you don't have that, you can use the code Sarah K to try this out at no charge three weeks on Android and four weeks on Apple, but you'll go into actually go into your settings first. We'll show a little video of this going on. You're going to allow the app to pick up your device location. It's going to need that to estimate the UV index that is currently available. Then you're going to put in your height, your weight, and your Fitzpatrick skin type. All of these things are very important. So the app knows what it's dealing with when you get out there in the sun. From there, once you have your settings input, you're going to go and you're going to hit the play button under vitamin D timer. The plus button is there to log sun session. So let's say you do a sun session and then you forgot that you did it. You forgot to use the app while you were doing it. Then you can use that to log something later. But the play button is going to open up that timer. And in the timer, you're going to put in cloud cover and how much clothing you're wearing or not wearing. And then it will tell you, we're going to estimate that you need 20 minutes total with the skin type, with this UV index, it'll start the timer. It'll go for 10 minutes on one side. It's going to assume that you're laying out in the sun. And then at the end of that 10 minutes, it'll tell you to turn over. And then at the end of the total 20 minute time period or whatever time period it estimates for you based on the inputs that you give it, that it's time to either seek shade or go indoors and stop your session. So the vitamin D timer again requires the full access version in order to use that, but it's a very powerful tool in helping your body start to adapt to stronger UV light. You also want to practice good light hygiene with sunrise time and UVA time, and then blocking the artificial light at night, as well as keeping your lux or the brightness in your environment below a 10 to three hours leading up to bed, and then below a one in your actual sleeping environment. All of these things combined with a healthy diet will really allow your skin to get the maximum vitamin D production, as well as avoid that risk of overexposing your skin. If you'd like to learn more, head down to the pinned comment on our YouTube channel on my circadian app, and you can get 50% off the Sarah Kleiner wellness, harnessing the power of the sun course. 
for the next month only. So check that out again down on YouTube in the pinned comment. You can get 50% off that Harnessing the Power of the Sun course. If you want to learn more, you can go to www.sarahkleinerwellness.com and you'll want to head to the courses page. We have several courses where you can understand how to integrate sunlight, nutrition, circadian biology, and quantum biology into your busy life so that you get the maximum health benefits of sun exposure and feel your best, have your best energy and get your best sleep. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure to share it with a friend and enjoy the sun.